the Cathaya pines. They're endemic to China in the um, in the Sashuan Mountains. So it's an area that's um, in the subtropical area of China, but they're high up in the mountains. And um, they're very rare, and the Chinese kept them a national treasure, and you couldn't get them. And Dennis went there to try to, to get some cuttings, but growing pines from cuttings, they don't do it well. And he actually got caught there, tried to sneak some out, and could have got shot or thrown in jail in China. So the story on this, and this comes from Dennis, this is a good one, is that he had a Chinese botanist come here visiting, and Dennis spent a lot of time taking him all through Humboldt County and showing him all the plants and you know, giving him the total tour of the place, which Dennis could do quite well. And when the man went to leave, he asked Dennis, is there anything I can do to repay you for this? And Dennis said, I'd like some cafe seedlings. Well, the man turned white because you know, he, he can't smuggle a national treasure out of China. And about a couple of weeks or a month later, I don't know exactly the time frame, I just started working here and an envelope anonymously arrived in the botany biology department that contained these seeds. And so we've grown these since 1999 as seeds. This is the worst soil on campus. I um, had these growing in pots out in the back and they were languishing. They were look, not looking good. And when I was at Harvard, my wife uh, came and, and did this job. So she was the greenhouse manager during that period. And her uh, and the, the landscape people decided they had to plant these and this was an empty spot and they planted them here. And I came back and they were just looking bad and I went, oh God, what can I do? Well, they grow on limestone soils and it's a, the, the mountains are limestone, but there's organic matter from years and years that's acidic. And so I started putting flaked oyster shells around them. Then I started um, uh, fertilizing them with calcium nitrate and they, they've caught on. Now, Dennis would like to move these to this ugly side of Science D where nothing's growing but a bunch of uh, sea and othus. And he has $10,000 that he's willing to give the university to move these trees and a couple of other remus there. We've been trying to get permission to make it happen for four years now. Every year this gets larger, the harder it's going to be to move, the more expensive it's going to move, and the more risk that we have to the plant. But nobody in the country, not even the Royal Botanic Garden in Edinburgh can do this.